The 3.6 magnitude quake caught many that reside around Omaruru by surprise. Those at Valfrieden Roman Catholic Mission shared these images of cracks in the walls minutes after the tremors. Brother John was under the impression that it was a large explosion. It happened around 4.40 in the morning when it started. The shaking was, was just heavy. It woke up almost everyone. So, and around uh, six minutes past eight in the morning, it occurred again. Later, it was shaking while we were having our tea time. We could see our cups shaking. Well, I could say, uh, at first I thought maybe it was maybe a big truck passing somewhere or maybe there's a bomb that had fallen somewhere. But at the end, I had to, to, to discover now a few cracks on our, on, our, on our building. According to the Ministry of Mines and Energy, tremors were recorded on its central and northwestern seismic stations. No injuries were reported dynamic it's continuously moving we cannot say namibia is not prone events occur almost every day sometimes they are so small that we cannot feel them but the sensors do detect them we can only see on our system even now when we are assisting it's possibly that the earth is moving so it's a long-term process uh, it's not a one day or overnight thing these are uh, movement of started back million years back. So now the energy that has been accumulated for previous years is just being released. So it doesn't mean that it was quiet all along. The process continues taking place. So. Geotechnician at the Ministry of Mines and Energy, Shati Shipena, elaborates on tools used to gather and analyze data at the many stations across the country. Is What happens is when a ground motion occurs, um, it's recorded, it, 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 it moves the sensor a bit and the sensor would send the information to the digitizer. The digitizer then converts the, the data from analog to digital, which then sends it to the modem. And then the modem helps us, it sends the data to our server downstairs in Vento. Our new setup helps us with is the, ex the accessibility to actually have data sent real time. We don't need to go out in the, in the, station, uh, in the fields to go uh, get the data. Sitali said that their department, which is made up of mostly young and dynamic scientists, is faced by many challenges. We have so many challenges, like skilled personnel. We have the survey is full of geologists. We don't have a seismologist in Namibia. So most of the things we do, you either have to attend a short course to familiarize yourself in this. So we don't have that uh, strong background of seismology. We are just doing our best in order to at least keep everyone informed and help where we can. The ministry advises the public to go outside in case an earthquake occurs while indoors. Another safety measure is to stay away from windows, watch out for falling objects and get refuge under a table. If in a vehicle, find a clear spot away from buildings and avoid coming out until the shaking stops.